Hey Virgo, this is Alicia with Twisted Tarot here to do your March 2019 2020 tarot reading. Thank you everyone for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. Um, your uh, feedback is so wonderful. Um, I'm getting to know more and more Virgos, so hopefully I'm tapping in more and more with your energy, um, which um, I do enjoy. Um, and the last time I talked to a um, talked to um, Someone, it, it was just a random conversation that um, I sat down and, and I was having a drink and I was with my friend and um, this guy, we started talking and, and talking about astrological signs and things like that. And he said he was a Virgo and I was like, oh my gosh, let me pick your brain because I don't know that many Virgos, but at the, that was at the, that was, you know, like a year ago. And now um, I know that I have a lot of friends that are Virgos I just didn't know about. Um, so um, I'm really happy to be doing your reading and tapping into your energy today. So um, remember guys, it is general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, it could be a message for someone else. Um, also this month, I recommend that you check out your moon sign. If you don't know how to do that, there is a link I'll put in the description box below. It will take you to Cafe Astrology and you can chart out your birth chart and it will tell you what your moon falls in. Um, so, uh, the reason I say that is because, uh, for this month, um, my moon sign actually resonated way more than any of the general readings, uh, for any of the other signs, um, except for my moon sign. Um, I got a little bit about out of everything, uh, for the most part, but, uh, my moon sign was, uh, spot on. So, and we're also in Pisces season, which is an emotional, um, sign, sensitive sign. It is my, um, other sign of my cusp, so I'm a Pisces Aries cusp. So, um, I highly recommend that you guys take a look at those videos if none of these videos are resonating with you, um, for your sun sign. Um, again, uh, you can also check out your, um, your rising and your Venus as well. Venus is real important because we're talking about love here with Twin Flame. So if, um, you, it doesn't resonate, try those other signs as well. Um, let's see, the roles can be reversed, so it can flip-flop. You can be like, oh, that's my twin, not me, etc. What, However you feel it, that's the way it's meant for you. I'm getting a lot of energy, and it can, it can blend as well, because when we're talking about twin flames, you guys have to remember that, and I even I have to remember that, um, you're one soul. So your energy and their energy mirrors a lot of times and is fluid within the other person, and so watching both readings, you can get something for yourself in both readings. Um, and sometimes it could be all your twin, but sometimes it kind of melds and meshes. And so um, that's really interesting to see that that can happen uh, for the readings. So, and I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm a complicated tarot reader, so um, I uh, can read very complicated uh, uh, readings. Um, as I've gotten uh, more and more advanced. Um, I've been doing this since I was 19, so um, this is the first time that I've actually been public with it um, besides events and um, my, my Facebook business that I started in 2014, so, or 13. Um, all right, so let's see, uh, anything else? Also, uh, let's see, I think that's it. Um, all right, let's go ahead and Chime my chime, and we'll get into your reading here. If you're wearing headphones, you might want to take them off. It can get kind of loud. All right, awesome. Great. Okay. <clears throat> These are astrological cards. Spirit helps me take two um, for your twin sign. If you're this, the sign that you're dealing with for your twin does not come out, it does not mean that this reading can't be for you. Um, it just means that this reading could be more um, relevant for the signs that do come out or it could resonate more. But again, it is general. So through, when I flip the cards, many different signs start to pop out. So, um, But if your sign is here uh, for your twin, uh, sometimes it can be even more. Um, you can get even more messages. So, all right. Let's see who we got for you. All right, Virgo. Virgo. We have Gemini. Let's begin with the Gemini. Virgo, who else? Who else? Who else? All right, so Virgo, who else could you be dealing with for your twin sign? We have Pisces. All right, Virgo, beautiful. Okay. All right, 
right, mutual energy between you and your twin is the fool. Okay, so brand new beginnings, wanting to take a risk, wanting to um, go on adventures, uh, be adventurous, um, kind of um, blindly going maybe uh, into this connection as well for somebody because she's wearing a blindfold here. So um, you guys may be finally willing to take the risk on each other or um, willing to just be foolish in order to, um, you know, uh, cultivate love. Like you see those movies where, um, I think it's like say anything or something like that, or I don't, I don't quite know the, the, uh, title of it, but I just remember, um, the guy holding up the boom box, that type of energy here is <laughs> outside the girl's window, etc. Um, so I'm feeling that for you guys. So it's beautiful energy, airy and energy here with the fool. So, um, very much someone who's willing to take a leap of faith, someone who's able to go on a new adventure and to kind of see where this connection is going to take you guys. So that's really beautiful. I like that. Um, and for those of you that know um, how I read, I clarify all the tarot cards at the end. I'm also an intuitive reader. I didn't mention that. So if you see a tarot card and I say something slightly different or different than how other tarot readers on YouTube interpret it, keep in mind, guys, that I'm channeling a lot of messages. Um, and again, I'm an intuitive reader. So I intuitively pick up what that card is, what they want me to tell you that card means, what the divine is telling me to give those messages for it. And they may have nothing to do with the traditional tarot card meaning. Um, and there's thousands of websites out there or hundreds of websites out there that show um, the traditional tarot. And each um, interpretation is slightly different of the cards. So keep that in mind. I may have learned differently than other tarot readers. They may have learned differently than me, etc. All right. Sorry about that. Just had to get that out of the way just in case you didn't know. All right. First card we have for you is Liberator. Wow, that's pretty. I like that. Very blue energy. Blue, you may be looking good. Wear this color, guys. For a lot of you, look really good in this royal blue. Light attributes. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs and releasing negative thought patterns. Absolutely. That is gorgeous energy. I'm loving this. Yes, releasing yourself from any negative thought patterns and also releasing others. So maybe you're just kind of being more chill than you normally would be and kind of more relaxed. And that's helping others kind of um, get into that same energy. Um, and also freeing yourself from um, outmoded, outdated beliefs, um, which is beautiful. Excuse me. So you may be, um, you may be cultivating a project um, at work. Uh, you may be, you know, showing on Facebook your specific beliefs about something um, and you're actually starting to encourage others to think for themselves as well and to research um, what you're what you've been putting out there so very beautiful next card is release heartache grief and sorrows of past relationships encourage lightheartedness and joy restore the balance of confidence and emotions yeah, so they're trying to get you to release some of the past. Um, Mercury is in retrograde, so um, a lot of ex feelings, a lot of people returning to their exes or calling their exes or past relationships resurfacing, things being triggered. But they want everybody to release that, not just you, Virgo, but the collective, to release this heartache, this grief, and this sorrow um, and try to become lighthearted and joyous um, and also to restore the, your balance when it comes to your confidence and your emotions. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this stone. I actually need to get some of this. This is rhodonite. Look how pretty that is. Very pink stone. You can get it at the metaphysical store. It says, my mental and emotional bodies are balanced. I attract nurturing people. So yeah, if you're trying to do this, if you're trying to release heartache, a grief, sorrow, and get your confidence back and balance your emotions, you can get that stone to help you with that. Beautiful. The card we have is mirror. It says, truth revealed. So there's something that you're that you need to um, acknowledge about yourself. Maybe you keep seeing yourself in this way that others don't see you, and they keep telling you like, "Oh my gosh, you're so pretty, or you're so talented, or you're so smart," and you, you just don't see it. But they want you to look in the mirror, and they want you to realize that there is more to you, and that you are not seeing yourself for who you really are. Others may see you perfectly clear and see you in this beautiful light, and you may just be like, "What?" Like. What are they seeing like how are they you know I don't see this they really want you to reflect um, and also look at some things some patterns some negative thought patterns and um, some truths about yourself that you may not like but um, 
you know, it's all about self-reflection here, guys, and um, it takes that for growth. Um, let's look at what the card says here. I think there's more to it, um, but that's uh, what I'm picking up from it and what I remember. Okay, this card asks you, you to take a moment to see the truth about a person or situation that you've been hiding from yourself. Tune into your honest feelings. Mirror dreams reveal what's real in your relationships and circumstances usually occur when you're in denial about something. You may be dreaming about mirrors. You may be walking through like a house of mirrors and you may be looking in the mirror. Or maybe when you're getting ready in the morning, you're looking at yourself and you're like, who the hell am I? Like, who do I want to be? You're trying to figure that out too. And maybe you're trying to see the truth about someone else. Maybe there's someone else you're not kind of like you're on the fence about and you're trying to figure out their real motives. Uh, this is associated with Archangel Jophiel. It says, take time to view this situation from a different angle or perspective. The beauty you see around you is a reflection of you. See the innocence within yourself. Yeah, they want you to see how beautiful you are. Look at this girl in this mirror. The one on the outside, doesn't that she doesn't look like she feels that way. But when she looks in that mirror and that reflection comes back at her, look how beautiful. Yeah, you guys, beauty. All right, and we have healing, but it's reversed. So this is something you have to heal. It may be that you're blaming yourself um, or you're being overly critical about your appearance or, or some of the things that you've done in the past. Um, could be with relationships, could be with, um, and those are all relationships, not just, in, not just romantic relationships. And it could be your thought patterns are keeping you stuck, but they want you to, to address these chakras and heal. So I would listen to a chakra meditation. Um, they have them on, uh, on YouTube. And you can do them one at a time, or you can do all the seven chakras. All right. I think the card we have is seven of cups. So with seven chakras, you've got seven cups here too. Seven is very relevant for you guys. Seven, seven, or 77. Um, maybe a date, maybe um, a life path, or a spirit number, or an angel number, I mean. Um, but this is having a lot of op options. This is kind of seeing that you have a lot of options around you, uh, possibly some delusions, illusions. You're not really quite sure which one to pick or which direction to go. Um, this may be a lot of confusion as well about um, all these options that you have. Um, and there could, there's more, we'll clarify more to, to get more on that here. Okay. It says, Claw, be careful, do not take risks. Okay, so. Be careful when you're looking at all these cups here because they're telling you not to take any risks. Um, this claw, I feel like this reminds me of like one of those claws in like that come down and grab the stuffed animals or whatever. I actually um, won one the other day for my son the first time ever um, in this machine. And I thought, wow, that is really cool. But um, anyways, it kind of reminds me of that um, idea. It's almost like be very choosy. Be very careful about what you're grabbing. Be very be very wary of it because they don't want you to overly take any risks um, at this time um, and assess all your options okay and make sure that you're um, make sure that you're not making decisions based on it on emotions only because that could be where this um, this risk taking um, could get you in trouble okay sends a message I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you okay. Card. We have artist and it's reversed. Okay, I believe we got this in the um, what was the last reading that I did? Taurus, maybe. Anyways, um, so it is reversed. We're going to take the shadow attribute using talent as an excuse to mistreat others, posing as a starving artist to elicit pity. Uh, for some of you, I feel like um, your talent. Um, for some of you just may make you a little snobby, it's possible, or you may sometimes look down on others who don't have the same talent as you. Um, others of you could be posing as this starving artist in order to get pity um, for people to buy your art. You don't have to do that. Um, it's almost like hiding behind a mask um, and not being authentic about um, embracing your talents as well and being proud of them and knowing that they're going to sell either way. So you don't have to, you don't have to put on this mask or this um, uh, this uh, facade, I guess, of, of being, you know, destitute and things like that. Or maybe you're just overly focused on 
money and what you don't have. And of course, we know with manifestation, that's um, the opposite of what is going to bring abundance towards us. All right, next card we have. Stop procrastinating, increase self-motivation, maintain focus, determination, and success. Stay grounded and focused, walk the path to creative success. The way to do that, um, you can get garnet here, it's beautiful. And it says, I stay focused on the task at hand and accomplish my goals with creativity and determination. All right. Yeah, so if you need help with procrastinating, with um, increasing your self-motivation, um, being focused, determined, and successful, I'm telling you, don't give up. Keep working on it. Keep working hard, especially if you're an artist. Keep working hard on what you're trying to accomplish in the physical world. All right, we have winter. It talks about reflection, transition, and release. So a lot of that has to do with reflection here. We just talked about this with this mirror. So in the winter time, you're really trying to self-reflect. You're really trying to go within. Maybe look at some of the patterns or the ways that you have, um, that you might need to change some things you might need to release. And there's some type of transition that's happening during the winter here. Let's see what else is going to happen. So you may have received a message, okay? Um, and it may have been, you know, this message right now that we're telling, you know, about healing, about the chakras, about um needing to heal yourself. So the message has been received or you received a message in winter or sent a message. Um, and it's kind of saying like, you get it. Like you're now understanding that you need to reflect, that you need to heal, that you need to release things. Um, that um, you also may need to see the truth about a situation, about your part in it, the other person's part, etc. And we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah. So the message may have been received by you or someone else that you no longer are... Um, investing in this um, brand new beginning, this brand new start, this passionate, um, this passionate um, endeavor. So it's very possible that in winter um, you turn someone down or you turn an offer down. Could have been with a job offer. It could have been um, to show your work. Um, you may not have been ready um, to do so. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I feel like also, um, I'll say you're this, this new start, you had a lot of options and maybe you still haven't picked one. Maybe you still haven't figured out what, what's emotionally fulfilling you. Maybe there's still some things that have to take place before this new start can begin here. Okay. That could, okay. That also could be it. So Ace of Wands is a very sexual card. It's a very fiery, passionate card, um, and it's very possible that you were feeling unsatisfied sexually or you were just starving for it, okay? And maybe you were looking at some other options about maybe who you might want to date or have sex with, okay? So, you know, just for some of you. Because the next card we have is Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. So, yeah, you may have been so concerned over, you know, getting it on, <laughs> um, and this could have been during the winter time. And that's holding you back. And maybe it's it's almost like um, maybe someone, I feel like someone felt like they were being used just for sex, too. Maybe you or another person. Next card is, I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. Right. Next card we have is Night. Right. And it is reversed. So that we're going to take the shadow side. This is the upright. This is the reverse. Okay. So the shadow attribute, allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle and romantic delusions. Okay, so for some of you, you may have, um, these could be these romantic delusions. You had a lot of options um, and a lot of them were just kind of fantasies. Um, maybe you were just kind of looking elsewhere. Um, others of you, there is one message coming through that somebody may have cheated. Um, I don't know why I get that with the Ace of Wands, but I kind of feel like maybe somebody was looking for sex and they went out and cheated because they weren't getting it at home, possibly. Um, but it also talks about maybe their allegiance to someone or something that is destructive for them, um, this destructive ruler. So, And maybe they had some romantic delusions about that person, and it was just like they now realize that this is, this is not the person that um, they thought um, they wanted to go after. Uh, and maybe they just had to figure out that for themselves. Next card is activate the creative mind, finalize projects, release unlimited potential. 
and provides visu visualization skills. Stimulate the courage to fulfill life purpose and potential. Okay, so you've got some projects that need to be finalized here, I can feel for a lot of you. Um, and your, um, if, if you need some more creativity in order to do so, um, you can get this carnelian. And this will help you improve your visualiza visualization skills. So you visualize what you manifest, you visualize what you actualize in your life, okay? Um, and this will help you get the courage to fulfill your life purpose and your potential right now. So if you're not even sure what that is or you're trying to get um, the energy to do so, this can help you with that. It says, creativity flows through me in myriad ways. I courageously bring my ideas into actuality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you may be writing them down. You may be journaling about them. You may just be just fast and furious at your work. Um, and Hey guys, sorry about that. So my video froze. But yeah, you may be fast and furious at work and you're writing everything down and now it's time to kind of put it out into the world and to finish that project. Um, so it looks like things are culminating and coming to an end for this project for you or, or starting to within the next uh, three to six months. Next card is purple, which is third eye and clairvoyance. Yeah, so um, something to do with your third eye is open. Um, if you don't feel this way, you can also do a third eye shot. You can do the third eye chakra here with that. He that's not for healing, but um, that is part of this card here. You see that um, with that purple uh, color there. Um, so basically, you've got clairvoyance right now, um, or for some of you, you're needing to open your third eye in order to see something more clearly. Yeah, and it has to do with your inner child. So there's something to do with some issues that um, has to do with healing your inner child and a message you may re be, re be receiving about something to do with your childhood, something to do with uh, maybe your parents, um, your, something to do with um, something maybe you already knew had happened but you just weren't willing to acknowledge here with this received, this message received kind of information. Something was received. Something has now triggered something with your with you to heal your inner child, okay? And this chakra healing and this third eye will help with that. Will also help you see clearer. All right, let's go into the. Um, I'm gonna go in a little bit further into this because they always give really good um, angels and things like that in here. Archangels. Um, this is the Angel Dreams Oracle cards. If you didn't know, um, these blue cards that I read from. All right, let's see here. So purple, and I love purple. Purple, I believe, is one, um, one of my uh, subscribers posted that it was one of the highest vibrational colors for twin flames. So very beautiful. You are being sent loving messages via clear visions in your mind's eye, your dreams, or recurring patterns you see with your physical eyes. Notice the images in your dreams. Do not be afraid to see them. They are from God, the angels, and your dream guide. Purple symbolizes the third eye or sixth chakra. Your clairvoyance, clear seeing, is open. Purple can also indicate that your sixth chakra is unbalanced, which manifests in the form of a need to escape from reality. Another symptom of imbalance is a feeling of superiority. In this case, this card is asking you to acknowledge that all people have innate powers of clairvoyance. All right, some additional meanings um, archangels associated with this card are Michael, Daniel, Metatron, Hermiel and Raziel. Give yourself or someone else the royal treatment. Allow yourself to enjoy activities that bring about feelings of luxury. It is time to clear your third eye with energy work, crystals, or affirmations. Okay, awesome. So you can do energy work. You can look up crystals for the third eye or affirmations. I believe amethyst is one of the um, stones that would be associated with the third eye and clairvoyance specifically. Um, and give yourself or someone else the royal treatment. So... Maybe you want to spend lavishly a little bit, kind of self-care it out. If you have the money to do that, you know, they're saying kind of, you know, um, treat yourself a little bit. Um, the Archangels, um, you can look those up specifically. I don't go into those in the general readings. Now, if we were in a personal reading, I would go into each one for you, but we don't really have time for that. Um, also, it's telling me that dreams are sending you some specific messages um, from the other side. And they're giving you um, specific messages, possibly about your childhood or possibly about something that happened when you were a child. Um, and it's kind of opening your eyes to that. Okay. And um, we have the seven of wands. Okay. All right. So I feel like you're ha there's some conflict around you. There's um, You're trying to stand up for yourself. You're trying to um, address some of the situations that are that the people that are kind of having their own uh, opinions about your situation or about what you're doing. Um, and... Uh, 
it's kind of bringing, it's kind of triggering things that happened to you when you were a child. Could be especially with a mother figure here. For some reason, I am picking up a female um, with this Ace of Wands. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot of you that are having to uh, defend yourself at this point in time. Defend your opinions, defend your decisions, de defend your stance here. Um, all right. Let's see what else. Gavel, involvement with the law. Okay. All right. So for some of you... Um, it could be that um, for some of you, I know it's going to sound very odd, but for some of you, it was like taking a risk, like having sex in public or something like that. Um, and that involved you with the law and that could really, really get you in trouble. So please be careful of that, you guys. Others of you, I'm feeling like... Um, these, this is, this is you having to stand up for yourself in something to do with, um, a legal matter, possibly. Could be, um, a divorce, possibly, that says the want something doesn't get off the ground, something is, is no longer, um, being cultivated here, or a new start is not actually happening here, um, and you had a lot of options, maybe you had a lot of options, um, legally, or you were trying to figure out which one to, um, For some of you, there's a person around you, a female, um, it could be an ex-partner or a current partner, um, that is um, slandering you behind your back, um, and you're having to defend yourself here, um, and you may involve the law regarding that. Um, could be defamation of character, um, you could just be going through a legal battle here. Um, so, ooh, interesting, I can't wait to see when we clarify. All right, um, next card, twin flame card you have is I need more time to figure things out. Okay, yeah, and it could be because, again, if your twin here um, on this side, specifically whoever's watching, um, Virgo, if you are involved with the law, you may need to get some stuff figured out before you can kind of come towards this person. Um, you may be overly concerned with uh, sexual matters at this time. They're telling you not to take risks, too, so be careful because I feel like even STDs, I feel like even... Um, possible uh, pregnancy uh, for some of you, um, or, or an abortion, um, I have to say it because it is here, the way I'm feeling this card, um, but just be careful, don't take any unnecessarily, unnecessary risks, it could be sleeping with multiple partners here too, um, and they're trying to warn you against that, that that could get you um, something about the law, it could get you completely... Um, it can, can get you completely involved with the law somehow. Okay. All right. Let's do some clarifying here. I'm dying to know. All right. So let's clarify your mutual energy, which is the fool. Let's see what's going on there. All right. The fool. What's going on with the fool? Aries card. Where's the fool here for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords reversed and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like um, there is an Aryan around you that is taking a risk with you and is fully um, involved with you or you're involved with them or you're starting a new journey with them, okay? Um, or this could be your twin. Obviously, it doesn't have to be an Aries. It could have Aries in their chart. Um, but what I'm feeling like for here is that that has... Um, that has pissed someone off. So this Queen of Swords energy here, um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We have Gemini here. Um, it could be um, putting them in their head. They may be um, the one that's involving you in the law. Um, it looks like they are using any tactic to try and manipulate you um, to keep investing in this with the Seven of Pentacles. Or they still want to invest in this. Um, and if it's this Gemini that's trying to, um, that you guys are trying to take a risk on or that, or they're trying to take a risk on you, they're not showing up upright. They're showing up reverse. So they're in their negative traits. So aggressive with words, um, callous with their actions, um, manipulative, um, 
uh, it's definitely with this ace of wands energy here i feel like that i feel like this is it's almost like if if you're specifically involved with the gemini that um they have put a lot of work into this um and maybe they're kind of pissed off because you may be going in another direction okay um and i just feel like also that that queen of swords energy here could also be see this from another angle because there's multiple messages coming through so with the queen of swords here reversed i feel like it's just two people i feel like the fool is one person possibly or the again the mutual energy the queen of swords is someone else who's trying to prevent you from move, moving forward someone is trying to prevent you from moving forward because they're, they are like, well, I've already invested in you or you've invested in this situation and now you're stuck with me, basically. She keeps saying that to me, Queen of Swords. Like, now you're stuck with me. Like, I'm not giving up. I've already put in enough work. Um, and Or you are dealing with a Gemini and they're trying to manipulate you to continually put more effort and energy into this. Um, or they're just very good at pretending like, you know, look, we've, we've done all this work, you know, come on, let's take this risk. Let's, let's do this, um, type of energy. Interesting. Could be somebody trying to take money from you too. Okay. So don't this be careful. Do not take unnecessary risks. It could be somebody who's, um, just concerned with money could also be a mother figure with this queen of, queen of swords that is just completely just all about the money you know they don't want you to blindly move on or take a risk or to um, um, move forward without them if that's the case all right why do we have the seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here tower yeah okay so taking unnecessary risks um, this emotion all these all these cups um, it looks like that if you do take if you do take an unnecessary risk like I said that this tower is going to come in um, and it's going to crumble this foundation that that you've built or this emo you have these all these emotions surrounding the situation um, and you may not know which way to go but the tower is going to come in either way and shake things up and I feel like uh, your emotions may be unstable um, it's because you're trying to heal from a situation um, but I think because you have a lot of options here or you had a lot of options here if you chose one it's very possible that you chose the wrong one and it's gonna completely just um, bring the tower down unfortunately um, or if you didn't make a choice the universe is gonna do it for you okay so it's gonna kind of say okay whatever we're gonna we're gonna make this choice for you okay and we're gonna we're gonna come in and we're gonna break it all down um, okay, so that's really interesting here. And it says, be careful, do not take risks. And exactly what the tower is saying is that if you do take this risk, be aware that the tower is going to, the tower will come in because unfortunately it's not time to make any moves. It's time to heal right now. Okay. It's not time to start anything new yet. Okay. There's still, there's still things that need to be figured out or worked through, especially with your inner child here and possibly with the law, okay? All right, let's see here, Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands reversed? Pentacles. So you go from the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like you're working on something. You, work, you, are, you have to work. And so it's possible that um, you were overly concerned with, um, you know, sex or sexual matters here um, with, with whoever it was that you were, you know, working, working with. Um, and you decided not to start something new with them, possibly, um, and to work and to put your effort into work or into finances or into your job or somewhere else. So it's almost like this Ace of Wands, this brand new passionate beginning, you know, that involves all that sex. It's not actually really, it, it's almost like, okay, well, maybe you know that and you're, you were concerned about it, but, and it wasn't maybe happening in your relationship. Maybe somebody was withholding or you guys were not having sex, 
and you just focus on work. You just put all your efforts into work, into work, not working on this, not working on um, the relationship specifically, but working outside. So working on projects, working um, on uh, new opportunities, business opportunities. All right, why do we have the seven of wands here? And seven of wands here. So we have the Two of Swords reversed, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so you have you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. It also could be that this Queen of Swords here um, is going in a new direction, um, and all they're going to do they're going to focus on working on other outside outside um, outside something outside of them. So like a professional things, a job. Uh, hobbies, etc., uh, making money. Yeah, very possible that Queen of Swords. That's what they're. That's what they're going for is a new opportunity here. If they're kind of working on and possibly themselves, but here we go from the seven to the eight, and now we're at the nine. Okay, so and then and then it's a commitment. So basically, I feel like um, this Two of Swords. You made a decision. Okay, you made a decision, um, and you made a decision to work on yourself or to invest in yourself or to put more time and effort into. Um, your uh, your own energy and to be possibly single for a lot of you others of you it's just in general to work on yourself or to put yourself first I feel like that and that has released you from this uh, you know from it, it's caused you in the past anxiety stress nightmares up at night insomnia things like that um, it's caused you a lot of stress and now it's like no once you chose yourself once you made the decision to choose you or to be single, then you're no longer in your head. You're no longer stressing over this, okay? And you're still, even though you still have to, I believe, defend your your choices and your and what you've done here. That's fine, because you know who you are. You know what you deserve now, okay? Interesting, okay. And you may be going in new directions. This fool doesn't even have to be. Go coming together between you and your twin. You both could be going into your own separate directions, especially for Gemini here. It's possible that you're willing to take a risk on some and, and put in the effort and the work. Okay. Um, and it may be with this twin flame relationship. It also could be just to take to just do you. Okay. Um, Gemini may just want be wanting to do you. Um, Virgo, same thing same thing I'm feeling like there's a lot of a lot of information here that's kind of saying you choose yourself you just chose yourself okay for a lot of you um, and you're working on yourself you're working on projects here you're not starting anything new and maybe you got this you understood that if you took a risk here and started something new with someone else um, that it may not work out um, even with this eight of Pentacles here I still feel like somebody is not interested in the sexual part of it or somebody was somebody was withholding that and so the other person was forced to just you know focus on work and not the relationship and kind of withdraw and um you know even if you're married it may be that you both are working too much okay um if it's you and your twin um if you're in a twin flame relationship with your twin i feel like a lot of you it's just like you became obsessed with this but you know you just decided if i'm not getting it i'm just going to focus on work i'm just going to focus on and then also just choosing yourself. Um, and you made a choice here. So it's possibly with this two of swords, you made a choice. Um, and your choice was yourself. And it released you of a lot of a lot of issues you were having um, at night with these with these thoughts, with having to choose between one or the other and going back and forth and back and forth is what I felt like here. Um, and be very careful with this, um, with your emotions at this time, because I feel like this tower is just like, you know, it's just saying your emotions are unstable. Your choices are unstable. Your ability to make a choice in this respect could come back to bite you, okay? Unnecessary risk. So be careful, all right? And it could be you were trying to start something new and it just isn't going to work out. And maybe it's because you were just obsessed with trying to find somebody to fulfill your sexual needs um, that, you know, it, it could have damaged this relationship too. So... 
um, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Yeah, that could have been it. Somebody in the past could have had a lot of options here. And it caused a tower moment within this connection here. So it caused this this uh, relationship to possibly disintegrate or to um, the foundation to just crumble. All right. Okay, guys, let's see what your fortune is. You have plain. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Yeah, this is that journey. This is that journey with that full card. So you are either physically traveling or metaphorically traveling. You may be going on a spiritual journey. You may be um, embarking on a new project here with this um, fool card. You may be blindly going into something here um, without knowing much about it. So be careful about taking unnecessary risks because that's the energy you're in. And you and your twin may, may try and make things work. I feel like for some of you, just for some of you, and it's it's best that you know you heal right now virgo okay it's best that you're healing okay and um something to do with inner your inner child all right okay guys i hope this resonated uh leave me comments um in the description box below and i'm going to do your twins reading here if you don't watch that i will see you for your april readings take care